<laughs> hey y'all. Come on, Tux. Just getting home. Come on, Tuxy. Come on, Tux. <laughs> Go this way. Dorothy wants to play. Hey y'all. I've got some uh, good I've got some good news for y'all. I want to show you. Ah, don't you come back here, baby. Good girl. Come on, don't you? So I did. Ah, uh -uh, back over here. Come, come. Lucia, come. Oh, they're just going pee. Uh, I did a genetic test on Lucia, the gray brindle kind of corso. There's Tugs. So just real quick, an introduction to my pack here. Come on, Lucia. That's Tugs. Tugs, he's the uh, pit lab mix. Here comes Lucia. She's she's the eight-month-old female kind of corso puppy. And Dolce, the dominant female, three years old. I I'm back over here, Tugs. And there's a... Ozzy, Ozzy's the alpha male. Oh gosh. Let me show you this garden real first. First, real quick. Um, aren't these pretty, y'all? Mm. There's Lucia. And the zinnias. And the gladiolas are popping up here. Gorgeous, bright orange. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous sunflowers. Okay, us. And my zinnias are finally, finally starting to pop up. These zinnias are gonna get really tall, five feet tall. And uh, that's a 10 foot sunflower. Well, anyways, um, so yeah, so that's the pack. Hi, Boba. I don't think these two look similar. These, these two gray brindles look very similar, but they're from different, different breeders. Totally different breeders. But um, the reason that I did a genetic test. Uh oh, come on, baby. Come on, Dol. Come on, Orchie. Come on, Orchie. Come. Good girl, baby. Uh, yeah, so. The reason that I did a genetic test on Lucia is because, uh, I don't know if y'all remember, but she had cherry eye, which is kind of a prolapse of that third membrane, nictitating membrane um, in the lower eyelid. So she had that on each eye that I had to get removed. And so I, I wanted to do a genetic test just out of curiosity to see if, you know, also if she has any uh, genetic predisposition to that. It's usually not genetic, but I think it could be in some cases, but it's usually just s spontaneous. Um, due to trauma or whatever happened if she nicked it or something but um so that's why i did it and um oh man I was really really uh happy with the results so i'm going to i'm gonna try to um look at this sunset i'm gonna try to um clip it in here for y'all so that you can see it. I'll just attach a, a segment of the video. Ozzy, come. Of the results. So, um, they test the breed. The genetic test that I call, that I got, it's called Embark, E-M-B-A-R-K. Oh, she follows me. Dolce. See how she follows me. Heel. Got your heel. Gosh, she's got the best heel. Come on, don't you go, girl. Dolce. Good girl. Ozzy. Lucia. 
Hi, Tuxi. <laughs> come on, Tux. There they come. Come on, little chick. Come on, Lucia. That's Lucia. So, Lucia is so tall that I thought, I almost thought she might have some Great Dane in her. I thought, gosh, what she, but you know, she's just part of the, the spectrum, the higher end of the spectrum where uh, this breed can be uh, much taller, certain certain ones. But for example, Dolce here is um, kind of on the shorter end of the spectrum, although and generally, it's generally not, not too short, you know, compared to, to most females. Female kind of corsos are generally shorter than the males. And then there's all kinds of variation within that, but... But man, y'all, uh, Lucia here is only eight, eight months, and she might be approaching Ozzy's height. I mean, he's very tall for a male, even. So, um, but yeah, that, the re that's the reason that I got the genetic test on Lucia. Come here, Lucia. Come on, baby. She probably gonna, she's probably going to go pee right there. Yeah. What's that, Doug? His ears are broken up. So, yeah, see the two females side by side? How much bigger she is? is about to let her have it. Yep. Come on, Oz. Come on, Lucia. Come on, Lucia. Go check a girl. Come on, Lucia. Get a girl. And she is super athletic. Um. So I'm... Well, anyway, so I'm going to post the, the genetic results here and the, they will there's two parts to the genetic result first part is the breed so it'll give you the mix of what breeds are in the dog even even some so-called purebreds um, I've seen so so-called purebred kind of corsos from reputable breeders that the owner will do a genetic test and it'll come up, you know, with mostly kind of corso, but a little bit of something else, say a little bit of, uh, I guess the most common in, in the breed would be a uh, Neapolitan Mastiff. Neapolitan Mastiff is a kind of a shorter um, Mastiff, a little bit shorter, similar head type, but the droopy uh, skin around the face droopy jaws and uh, skin and um, some people some breeders will will breed that in to their line to create more bulk more of a bulky bigger dog so it still looks like a kind of corso but slightly bigger and anyway so and then great dane i think that i've seen some so-called you know purebreds that have a little bit of great dane in them and breeders will do that to, to get the height um, so, I was wondering about this one, but the, the main reason I did get the genetic test on her was, again, you know, to see if there was any kind of medical uh, genetic variation that may just predispose her to other things. Um, but I was so very, very surprised that she has zero... I mean, zero genetic variations, health risk-wise. So she's 100% healthy as far as genetics. Uh, and 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 you'll see how many um, genes that this tests for. This Embark test, E-M-B-A-R-K, so that's the name of the test. Uh, I want to say it's like over 200 genes, or at least over 100, but... That's pretty remarkable, y'all, to, to, um, to get that result not one single gene it's very remarkable especially uh because you know 
in general, purebreds, so-called purebreds, don't have that genetic variation that, that mixed breeds do. And in nature, you know, mix, mixing of um, the genetic pool is uh, creates more stability within the genetic code, so within the DNA. So, um, give me this chip. So that's pretty remarkable that she has not one, not one um, pre genetic predisposition out of all the genes uh, that they tested for any kind of health abnormality. And. Uh, it showed that she's 100% cunning corso. Um, that's pretty remarkable too, because like I said, there, there's, uh, there, I know a lot of breeders that will maybe, you know, a, a few generations in their line, you'll see another breed pop up. So, you know, it could say like one, one to 5% of another breed and then the rest is cutting corso. And that's still, you know that 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 dog will still look like a kind of corso, but it'll maybe be a little bit bigger than the other ones. And the and the Americans are known to to do that to kind of alter it a little bit. Um, I think most kind of corsos that originate in Europe, that the lines that are coming from Europe are uh, maybe a little bit more pure. But what I'm gonna do? I think she comes from, and her line is Custody Nos Nos N O S. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip in here the results so, so that you can see them. And then as well, I'm going to, um, take a screenshot for you of her, of her lines, her genetic, her, uh, genetic line, like uh, the dogs that she comes from. Um, so, uh, so you can see. Um, where they originate. She originates from Europe. I think uh, the breeder's from Europe, so. Uh, yeah, uh, and, and again, I got her from a uh, breeder uh, from Wailani Robles in California. And he does have one more female that looks almost identical to Lucia. It's, you know, same everything, same look, same color, same um, build. She may be even a little bit bigger and same kind of temperament excellent te excellent temperament um and so again I'll, I'll post the information that if anyone's interested in, in that eight month old puppy that's still available out of california um you you would have to f get transportation or you know drive there to, to get the dog though and uh they're and i think he's selling them, them for about twenty five hundred twenty five hundred dollars uh, with no breeding rights or 3,000 if you want breeding rights. Um, AKC registered and uh, yeah, just phenomenal dog, uh, purebred. So I'll, uh, I'll post that information as well. So.